Hey guys, this is Polo here, and today I'm going to do the review of the 1 to 1 for Fosco High Grade, Sananju Stein narrative version. Alright, here is the Sananju Stein itself. Now, I'm finally back from my test, so finally I can, I'm able to be a Gumpel once more for about a month, so yeah. So, you see, we'll stay tuned for more of those um, unboxing reviews and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, wait, uh, here is the Sananju Stein itself. Now, this kit is amazing. No, 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 no further words needed. This thing is really good. Like, I've seen reviews from my from the other fellow couple of YouTubers and and uh, some of my uh, friends who built this and they said, Wow, this is really good. You should really get it. I got, even if I did not build it immediately, uh, when I built it just now. Oh my god, this kit is so good. Like, even though, yes, it is based off the, some of the parts are based off from the the original Sananju, the red from back in 2010, yeah. But even even so, there's not a lot, not a lot of parts used in this case. Like, almost all of this kit is completely new. Like, I think the only parts that you use from Sananju is like some of the chest and the waist and so it did. The rest, are, rest most of the kit is completely new, which is pretty good. Now, so the details, well, you get the grey, you get the blue, the dark blue, the brown, the great brownish grey for the joints. Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, if you remember uh, from the uh, Katoki line art, uh, the sun is in white. And some people say that it should be white instead of grey. I mean, if you don't like the grey color, you can always paint it. It's not a huge deal to me. Uh, the greenish grey. Um, what else we got? Uh, I think it's okay, the black on the sleeves. That's it. And in terms of seam lines, let's put up the base real quick. There we go. Okay. In terms of seam lines, well, they pretty, pretty, they did a pretty good job hitting height and seam lines. I think the legs, are, the legs, are, I don't think it's a seam line. It's more of a uh, uh, panel line. Uh, they, there is a seam line on the shoulder, but it just get covered up by a uh, armor piece. I think the only seam lines you need to clean up is really, is really the head and then some parts of the backpack, and also yes, also, also the sleeves as well. But yeah, so of that, it's uh, pretty good. Not just stickers. So we get. You get the eyes, you get the z the sleeves, which is on the Xeon symbol on the sleeves on, on the arms. You get the brown and cross, which I'm supposed to match this color, but it's the closest I can get. Uh, what have we got? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's supposed to be uh, stripes on the uh, fuel tanks, but I said I'm put them on, on a paint or tan line there or whatever. And in terms of missing detail, uh, it's, missing, it's mostly the red. So, red on the side of the dresser on the legs. And then you read on the uh, fusters on the backpack. Uh, the red here, I just use a, a permanent marker. It works fine, really. Here, I used red paint. So yeah. So in terms of details, well, it's a really good kit. Like like um, it's a really good design in overall. It's really good. And, and yes, I know this is a little painted badly you can see right now, but that's the best I can do because I don't I don't have enough resources to do that. But yeah. Our articulation, it's pretty good. The head is on a ball joint on its own, and there's a hinge in the neck, which is not not really much, and you can rotate, but it's not much as well. The the arms, okay. This is really interesting on the arms. Um, I think I believe they did it on the some 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 of the things the Galbadi Galbadi Beta. Now, uh, what they did here is like okay, it's not a ball joint, but on a peg, but uh, you, you can rotate it first, and I don't care what that only about that far, but if you pull out the joint, you can you can move the arm forward and back and up and down, and the arm can go out. Really fine. I mean, I don't, I don't force it because I'm very really worried about breaking this thing, but it, it can go a little further than that. So it's good. And this arm can move up here. Uh, there is a rotation below the, sh up below the shoulder. Double joint elbow, uh, a little more than 90 degrees, but it's okay. Ball joint wrist. Okay. The, sh the torso basically is a, the ball joint here, so it moves, it moves up and down. It can rotate all the way around. Front skirts are more together because we're separating them like I do. Side skirts on the hinge and swivel. Back skirts are on the ball joints you can separate like I do. Which is kind of interesting. Okay, V, V hips. Okay, now this is a very interesting thing I really, really like about this kit. <clears throat> Although it uses the ball joints uh, waist from the original Sananju, they actually modified the leg joints. Instead of you being ball joint just plug in there, they actually put a universal like. It functions like a universal joint, like like a modern high grade. So yeah, I'm let's go that far. Notch back. Out before the ball, ball joint pops off, but it's pretty good. Rotation below the, the hip. 
double joint and knee, nice separation right there, even though it's not not like muscular level, but it's pretty good for what it is. The uh oops, uh the uh first leg here can on the legs can move, although this one a little more loose than the right leg, which is kind of a kind of a weird. Uh the first leg here can move just ever so slightly. And then the foot is on a ball uh fall joint, which can go move forward and back. And you can go side to side, it can rotate all the way into the ball joint. And then the backpack, okay, the backpack has two attachments of circulation. Uh, there's a ball joint on the base of the backpack, so you can go up and down. And there's a, there's a swivel, swivel on the uh, backpack. Oops. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a prong, but it's not me really similar properly, I guess. And there's a swivel on the backpack. And then the fuel tanks are on ball joints. Yeah, so articulation, yeah. It's pretty good. Like, uh, I know that I, I wish the uh, arms could bend a little bit more, but still, even even so, it's not too bad. Like, it's, it's really good, even for a modified high grade from the original Sananju. Arf accessories. Well, it's all for the manipulators. First of all, you get two closed fists. Uh, you do get an open hand, for the left hand, and you get two uh, holding hands. Now, unfortunately, uh, you only get five hand covers and six uh, hands, so uh, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but but it's kind of a little bit lazy on Bandai. Bandai is actually not more an extra piece. I mean, how hard is it actually more one piece? Actually, never mind. It's not a huge deal actually. And another thing is, uh, you may notice the the open palm hand is a little bit more matte than the um, the uh, the fists and the holding hands and the trigger finger. I wish I'll show you later. Um, yeah, it's again, it is more than different different runners, so that's why it's a little bit But I mean, they could try at least make it glossy, but it's okay. I mean, it's not a huge deal. You can always gloss coat if you want. Now, as I was saying, uh, okay, now for accessories, uh, this is the half the hands. Now we go on to weapons. First of all, you get the beam sabers, which are stored on the uh, arms, which you can pop out. Yet yeah, it's in there. And you can take them out and just put them in hand. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not I'm not a huge. Uh, I don't like beam savers, Rihanna. And you get two cl clear yellow beams. All right. Now that's the beam savers. Now let's go on to the beam rifle, which is here we go the beam rifle. And it looks really good. And in fact, this is actually this is actually the Sananju's beam the, the the red Sananju's beam rifle encased in, in a uh, jacket. So yeah. Uh, if you take this, if you take this off, you, you can actually see the actual beam rifle from the original Sananju. So you can just take it out and plug it in. Yeah, so you can just he can shoot. That's cool. And next off, you get the shield, which is okay, it's a totally new kit. Uh, this the design of the this shield is different from the original Sananju Stein. Uh, this is more pointy. The uh, Sananju Stein is more of a uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna describe, but you know, you know what I mean. If you, you know what I'm saying, all right. Uh, and you can plug it in. It's really solid once you, once you get in there. Yeah, really solid. It's safer. It will it will not come out. That's pretty good. Now, um, now let's go on to the next weapon, which is the grenade launcher, which you can uh, two way can store. You can store on a shield or on a beam rifle. But uh, um, in this case, I've put it on the shield because it looks better there rather than put it on the beam rifle because. If you put it in a beam rifle, it's it's there, but uh, you will not you won't notice that much. So I already put on the shield. All right, you can put you can do that. Uh, okay, now the now the next weapon I'm going to show you is the rocket bazooka. This is from the uh, the Neo Zeong. Yeah, the, the Neo Zeong uh, bazooka. It's basically, this does, does not come with the original Sanju, so it comes only with the Neo Zeong, and it's included here, so it's pretty good. So you can hold it in hand like so, or if if you want, you can also uh, parts form it. Take these parts out and put this piece on, and you get the small bazooka. Now, what you do with that uh, is mainly for it to attach on the uh, beam rifle. What you do is flip this part out, put this in, like so. If I can do it, come on. There we go, and you put it in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for, it looks really cool, but um, unfortunately, due to how heavy this thing is, yeah, I don't think the Sinanju Stein will be able to hold that weapon. But it looks really cool, like, I really like this, this concept, but I gotta like say, it's, like I said, it's really heavy, so I don't think uh, you want to play around with this too much, or else the, the, you'll weaken the polycap. 
But, you know, yeah, that's pretty good. I really like, like how this kit looks. Like, um, the weapons are really good. And, yeah, that's that's what accessories. That's, like, they're pretty good. Like, you can, like, you get them a fair amount and they do the job really. It's just really good. I really appreciate that. Man, man, that's, that's good. Alright, for comparison, now let's, let's bring in, like, okay, I don't have, like, a lot of kids to compare right now, but... Let's bring in the Astray No Name, just because uh, he's like, almost an average to have some suit. Yes, the Sinai sign is big and tall. Like, when I when I finish building this King's Ball, he is freaking big. Like, even bigger than I thought it would be. Like, my god, this guy is really big. And let's bring in, I guess, another big one, so it's also Zeon, but... Uh, the Moon Gundam. It, it's just, it's crazy. Like, the Sinanju is freaking big. Like, holy crap. Like, I thought it would be as big as the Moon Gundam, but no. This guy is tall and big and bulky as heck. Like, oh my god, that's, it, let's, not, let's not talk about that, but it, yeah, you get a point. So yeah, that's a review. Alright, um, now we do get some of the level parts. Now, since this is based off the, uh, some parts are based off the Sinanju, uh, you do get some level parts. First of all, you get the, uh, um, Polycast level, that's, that's, that's normal, so we can keep that. Uh, you, okay, here's a deep plate, which is from the, origin, the original uh, Sony Intense in Anju. Uh, basically, you get the uh, beam axis, which uh, I believe the second New Zone actually used those, if I'm not wrong. So, yeah. And uh, you do get the scope for the beam rifle, which you can... Yeah, if you don't want to use the, jack, the jacket on beam, the high beam rifle, you can always, you can always build the original Sony Intense beam rifle, which is okay. And you get the uh, back, the original back screen in Anju, and uh, what else you got? Yeah, the shield connector and some p attachment parts. Next part, uh, the Bazooka Brunner only has one different part, I'm not sure what that is, but that's fair enough. And this is interesting. Now, this is a G2 wave, it's a completely new new runner, but you do get less of parts from, from the, for these. Now, where these parts go is actually right here. If you if you guys don't know by now, uh, the original Sananju Stein, the first unit, the one before, before it comes to the red Sananju, those are in, those are in, this, in this color. But on the second unit, which is the, the narrative version we have right here, that's that's in great. It's in the uh, the gray we've seen seen right now. So we can all assume that sometime somewhere along down the line, Bandai will actually make the original uh, high grade Sananju, like no, not high grade Sananju. I mean the high grade Sananju Stein, like the uh, first unit before it turned the red, red version. So so we can also maybe it might be a, an online exclusive or maybe regularly, who knows? But I think it's more of a, more of a yeah, online exclusive of what I'm seeing. But yeah. That's why the rest of the parts. Okay, I saw the review of the High Grace and Andrew Stein. Now, what do you think of this kit? Well, it's a really solid kit and a really fun kit to build. Now, for 2600 yen, yes, some people are thinking, well, I could use the same amount of money to spend on a better real grade. Why, why would I spend 2600 yen for like a very expensive high grade? This should be like lower than that or something like that. Well, yes, you can put say that way. But for in terms of how this guy goes together, it's very, very similar to a real grade. I mean, there's you no know, inner frame, yes, uh, but the way how this guy is engineered and the way how this guy is built, it's very similar to real grade in some ways. So, it is high grade, but in some in some aspects, it's similar to real grade. So, it's just why I understand, and plus, you get a lot of plastic in this kit, so it's 20 cm, so I can understand, understand that. And yes, uh, detail wise, well, yes. You, uh, the diesel are pretty like all, all in the correct colors except for the thrusters on the legs and the backpack. You need to fit in, but even without, without th that detail, there's not much like it's, there's not much, uh, um, not much difference in like how the how the uh, ac like enemy accuracy looks or uh, or just straight build. Like it doesn't really matter because even without this red, it still looks good. Uh, articulation is pretty good, although the uh, I wish the elbows can bend a little bit more, but. Yes, uh, even the hips. Oh boy, I like I love the hips on this kid. They, even though they use the uh, the waist joint from the original high re the uh, red Sunanju, uh, they did modify that joint instead of just like a like a solid leg, just plug in and just does it what it does. They actually engineer a, a universal joint, universal joint like ball joint onto the onto the hips. So that's pretty good. I really like that. So. It's pretty good for for the articulation, especially on hits. Like I said, it's pretty good. The weapons are good as well. Like, oh my god! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, this this sticker over here is supposed to go on the shield. Uh, but I did not put it on because the foil sticker. I kind of wish this good sticker, but I'm just gonna do. Uh, yeah. As I was saying, the the weapons 
they're really pretty good as well. I like the beam rifle. The beam rifle looks really good. Like the design looks pretty. Like it's really the Sinan Juice beam rifle in, in a jacket, and that looks, that looks pretty like beefcake. Have I put it that way? The bazooka, yes, it, it's from, it's from the New Zealand, and they finally have given the Sinan Juice sign. And yes, it's yeah, putting putting on a beam rifle that looks really cool. Even though yes, it's heavy, but you know it's, it is okay for what it is. Um. The sh yeah, the shield, shield, like so that's fine. It's not, not unusual, nothing special. And the left of the parts, well, you do get a, a few mounts, and you can use those for, like from future kit patches. So that's pretty good. So overall, do I recommend this kit? Absolutely. This kit is amazing. Um, if you if you can get it, if you can get it, if I know it's, right now it's a little bit expensive, but if, if you can get it for a little bit cheaper, then yes, go for it. But but if you if you want a fun high grade build around with it and have like try on try some stuff here and there, yes, you can like, buy this kit as well. So overall, good kid. That's what the guys saying watching this review. Yeah, I'm a bit tired today. <sighs> like I, I had a whole day of like just like doing something today. Like um, I'm just really tired, so I'm I'm gonna just out of the way and you know continue on with my builds. So yeah, so guys, thank you for watching this review, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.